Welcome to a brand new vlog. I'm in an extra good mood today because this is the first day that we are calling this place a home. This place is so nearly finished. If you've been watching recently, you'll know we've put so much time into getting this place into our kind of UK home. Oh, it's been weeks and weeks. It's been a building site. It's been ripping out a kitchen, ripping out bathroom, deciding on furniture, painting, decorating, sanding walls. It's been crazy, but we feel like finally we are getting to a place where we call this our home, a place where we can enjoy, relax, and everything else in between. Hope you guys are doing really, really well. Please comment below right now one thing that made you happy this week. I've just shared mine, getting this place sorted. One thing, big or small, whatever it is, wherever you are watching in the world, whatever you do for a living, whatever you, maybe you had an amazing meal out with friends, maybe you saw someone that you hadn't seen for years and you caught up, maybe you got a promotion at work, anything at all. Comment one thing below that made you happy last week. I would love to read through those. But let me give you a little glimpse of our living room. There's something cool I need to show you as well. So this guys, and we are gonna film a full apartment tour soon, but look how nice this looks. We've got our new table and chairs there. Our old sofa from our flat, if you're an OG on the vlog, our old UK sofa has made a return. This ultra soft, if you're watching in 4K right now, this is for you. Just so soft. And of course the new 50 inch TV set with the PlayStation 5 and you might know it's a little glow around the TV and that glow around the TV is much more than a glow and that glow around the TV is courtesy of Govi, um, a company we're working with at the moment. They reached out and said, George and Lucy, we've seen that you're renovating another apartment. Are you gonna have like a TV area, media entertainment kind of area of the room? And we said, yes, we are. And they said, would you be up for trying our Govi Immersion TV backlight? And I've just set it up today and I wanna tell you about it, it's awesome. It's not just like, in the past I've had cheap kind of LED strips that you stick on, they half fall off, they're dangling down eventually. This is totally different and it has so many features. So they have sponsored this section of the vlog just to have that ambient lighting, the back of the TV. It does a load of different things as well. I'm gonna show you a few features. The TV looks really small in the background. I promise it's bigger in real life. It, it looks kind of small, it's 50 inches. If you like what I'm showing you in the first part of this vlog, there is an Amazon link in the description. You can get exactly this. It uses RGB IC technology, which allows you to customize each strip light segment and display multiple colors simultaneously. But it's not just like you choose one block color and that's it. This is way more advanced. And this is all controlled by the Govi Home app, by the way, all the colors and the different features through the app. It has a small 1080p camera that looks at the TV screen and emulates the same colors on the screen as a glow behind. Give you an immersive ambient experience. If I show you right now, you'll see what you mean. Lucy's just pressed play on this. So as you can see, as the scene changes, so do the colors behind the TV. Makes it super immersive. This is especially cool with gaming. If you're playing like Call of Duty or something, you feel like you're really in the game. There are four different music modes included. Energetic, rhythm, spectrum, and rolling. It also has smart voice control. You can connect to it via Wi-Fi. You could also use Alexa or Google Assistant to control it by voice. So I honestly think that this sets off the living room so well. It's a nice little finishing touch. We still wanna put some artwork on the wall and things like that. If you're looking for something like this, then please check out the Amazon link in the description. I'm already looking forward to all the movie nights that we can now have here with friends and family. Let's get on with the deck. Look what just arrived in the mail. We, we, we got this envelope and we were like, what is all this? There's envelopes and envelopes. I don't know, I'm not expecting anything. Then I forgot, it's our 4D scans that have been printed. Look. These are the ones we chose. So you basically get to choose a few. These are the medium ones. So cute, I love that one. I think that's my favorite. Aww. Then this one, we've got I some of these ones in that. Favorite. Is it? The eyes freak me out in that. The face is very cute, but the eyes freak me out. And this one. Why did we get to this That one is also cute. This one is sort of thinking. And this one is really having a think. Oh. This one is a smiling one. It looks so different in these two. Like that's not the same baby. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing with these It shows scans. that it's not like. They could be different. Yeah. Oh, these are nice to have. We're gonna, maybe we, I don't know if we put one on the wall here, or yeah. we need to put one somewhere, don't we? Yeah, I think so. And they sent some key rings as well. Yeah. How nice, let's see. That is really cute, actually. <laughs> Today has started off pretty good, actually. I have been to the gym, and I'm back in a rhythm with the gym now. I'm back in a routine, and I feel so much better for it. I'm trying to get some really good sleep before the baby arrives, because I know all of you parents out there have been telling us that Sleep is gonna be the one thing that we miss and lack when the baby arrives. So we've been trying to get some good sleep. 
means I'm eating a lot again, just trying to build up, build up again a little bit, um, which I'm enjoying because I love food. But healthy food, also trying to cut sugar a little bit. We then went to the bank, we went to... We've done a lot this morning. We had to return something at the post office. Lucy's had the dentist. This has all happened this morning. And Lucy actually has a pregnancy massage today, which I'm very jealous about because that's one thing in the UK that is so expensive compared to when we were in Manila. We used to be able to get a massage on Xenia or something for, I don't know, five pounds maybe for an hour, five or six pounds for an hour. Here, it's more like nearly 100 pounds for an hour. Maybe sometimes 80 pounds or something like that. For 50 minutes. Okay, Lucy's was 53 pounds for 50 minute massage, which is pretty expensive, but that's all good. She really needs that. What else are we doing today? So next order of the day is of course, coffee. Lucy has once again delivered the breakfast goods. Look at that, there's still steam coming off this, Luce. We got two bagels, six eggs, and avocado. Delicious. Okay, just got back from the pregnancy massage. I look like I've had a massage. My hair's all oily, my face has all gone a bit bl blotchy. Uh, and I'm full of oil, so I need to have a shower in a sec, but <laughs> I look awful. But it was so good, and if anyone is pregnant and wants to try it out, I would highly, highly recommend it. I think you can do it from, some places are from 12 weeks, some are from 16, and pretty much right up to you give birth. Um, they basically, it's not like a normal massage where you lie on your back and your front, you lie on your side. So I was on my side, on my left, and then I was on my right, and they basically prop you up the different pillows. You have one here, one between your legs, and one on your bum. Um, and it was obviously different to the usual, um, they can't like go into like the inside of your legs. They can't do your stomach. Well, you don't do stomach anyway It's slightly different. They couldn't like get into your back like crazy But you're on your side so they can sort of reach a lot of areas and it was so nice I pretty much fell asleep in there. It was really warm in the room as well So it's very cozy But then I went into town bought some Christmas cards for the family and I've just spent some time writing them all out And now lunch is on so all good. We're going to my mum's for a roast dinner tonight So it's not a big lunch just some katsu flavoured rice with some chicken and some peas but it's so nice this time of day in the kitchen because you've got this lovely light that comes in the sun kind of sets quite early now and like here look at this lighting it's just so nice in here i cannot wait to get a big we've got a mirror we've bought sorry the microwave's been on that whole time we've got a mirror here we've got five different prints going along this wall so it's going to look really nice but it just feels like the Thing we needed has finally happened like having this place pretty much livable well it's definitely livable now it was livable before i'm being dramatic but how we knew what we wanted to do with it and now the stuff that we wanted to do is 90 percent done we can just relax a bit more we can start thinking about packing the hospital bag we can start thinking about like finishing the baby books we wanted to read and cooking some meals to keep in the freezer for when the baby's born We've got a big old list of things to get through and like focusing our time more on that now uh, and more on vlogging because it feels like all our life's been recently is renovation. So finally, I don't know, it feels like our life's been upgraded. It feels like being able to sit and watch TV, it's like something that we've <laughs> taken for granted for many years. And then suddenly our lounge was just a bit massive dust ball for three months. So we couldn't sit out here and have our dinner. So things like that, feeling very grateful. I need to pop some peas in the microwave and then we're gonna have some lunch. All right, I have also had my hair cut whilst Lucy was in a massage. So I feel like today massage. has been- Massage. Massage. I feel like today has been a sorting out day. I've, I've just been care. sitting in the office doing some admin and some worky stuff, which always needs doing, which we don't really vlog because it's just me sat at a computer desk. But Lucy has whipped up a lovely meal. And do you lighting. know what? This lighting's nice, right? Really nice, golden. So what do we have? We have some katsu rice with some pieces of chicken and some peas. Oh, it's a bit yeah. random. It is a quick freezer. Well, the chicken was frozen nice and quick, but it was nice chicken. If any of you guys have any frozen chicken or fish in your life ever, like this kind of thing, check the packaging and get one with a higher percentage of meat. Because we had, or if you want, it's up to you. 
we had no idea. We were the other day in a shop and what was it? Like some fish and chicken was like 30%. And it's like, yeah. what else is in it? It's, it's just like, like pumped with water and other stuff. rubbish is the rest? So this is like, a not, we found like a high percentage. Yeah, so that's chunk 70% of chicken. chicken. It was like 80, 78 or something. Yeah. Still not great, but it was a quick, easy dinner. It's a, a two minute rice in the microwave and some peas in the microwave. So very easy just for when we got them busy days. Um, but now we're going to watch Selling Sunset. Yes. And watch the sunset. <laughs> yeah, so it, is, it is nearly because... sunset time. It is ridiculous. It's, was it 3 p.m.? 3.30, yeah. 3.30 p.m. and the sun is setting in the UK, but I'm gonna take advantage of this lighting. We also now, because we have a kitchen back, we are gonna start doing more cooking. I'm even gonna try, start to do some cooking. So we can do more cooking in the vlogs and food videos and stuff like that, so. You should pick a nice meal to cook for me. Well, I was gonna say, comment below what food you would wanna see us cook again in the vlogs, because it's been a long time since we did it. We've been moving around like, should, here, there and everywhere. You should pick us some food and then like do like a menu and then be like, Lucy, this is three course meal, sit down, you're pregnant, put your feet up, yeah, yeah, cook I, for you. Yeah, yeah, probably, probably should do that, yeah. And then I just get to enjoy three course. I'd love you to do that and go and get all the food and stuff. Yeah, 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 we'll do that, we'll do that. Yeah, just just leave it with me and these guys. These okay. guys you tell me, you guys tell me what to cook and I'll do it. Okay? No Today's vlog has kind of reminded me of lockdown vlogs because I don't think in the vlog we've left the house today so sorry about that but we have left I did go and get a haircut as I mentioned and Lucy's been out and we've been driving around we've actually just been um, to go and see Lucy's dad very quickly and then we saw Lucy's mum tonight as well which was nice we are finally returning things things that have been in this apartment so we borrowed a TV or oh, actually I think they gave it to they gave us a, a TV years ago Lucy's dad and stepmom we used it in our old flat we then gave it to my sister this was like five years ago and then it made its way back to us so before I think we mentioned it in a vlog the other day oh it's so nice I can sit here now so before throwing the TV out because it's very old and it's it works but there's a few issues we thought we'd offer it back and turns out Lucy's sister wants it so that's been returned to its owner and whilst we were there I was telling Lucy's dad about five set up. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering, this is my evening gown, my robe. Um, it is the evening now, I think it's, it is nearly 10 p.m. So I was talking to Lucy's dad about the PS5 and he asked me what games I've got. And I said, I started all like happy, like, yeah, yeah. So I got Spider-Man, Call of Duty. And then I stopped, I realized I've only got two games. So he said, wait there, I can borrow some of my PlayStation 4 games because I believe PlayStation 4 games work on PS5 and he has a ton so just quickly Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Gran Turismo Sport so I can now play a driving game another driving game Dirt 4 wanting to try Uncharted 4 which I've never played and Resident Evil which I've also never played so very very kind I will enjoy playing these especially over Christmas so Lucy's dad as, as known as he's known on the vlog but Jason thank you very much if you're watching I will look after these we then went to Lucy's mum's house she invited us over for dinner and cooked a beautiful pork roast, which was delicious. Whilst we were out, let me show you. You might look, we have a mirror. Our friend Zach, who has big shout out to Zach. He's my best mate from years ago. We've known each other since we were, I don't know, like six or seven years old or something. This place is down to him really. He's fitted the whole kitchen. He's done so much for us in here. And tonight he came back, put this mirror up for us. And I absolutely love it. It's kind of modern but cosy. It's got the black lines down it and it just makes the whole room look a lot bigger. He also put some shelving in here for us. So we now finally have use of this space for the microwave and toaster. We've got our bin there. So thank you so much guys for watching. We are gonna finish off this vlog here. Hope you've enjoyed spending the day with us. This has been like a very laid back daily vlog. So if you're still watching right now, we really appreciate it. And I would say this is like our first Christmas vlog, I guess. We're like in the, fully in the swing of December now. They've started playing Christmas music on the radio in the UK, which is way later than Manila last year. People are putting their trees up, people are putting their lights up and we're feeling a little bit festive. I suppose soon we should decorate this place. Let us know if you want a decorating our apartment for Christmas vlog. I'm sure we will be filming that. Yeah, we've been going to bed really early. Comment below what time you go to bed. Um, and if you guys have any tips for good sleep, I've been getting some really, really good sleep and I've been noticing the difference when I don't get a good sleep. So right now I'm really, really interested in quality sleep because I feel, I mean, it sounds obvious, but I feel so, so much better 
when I get a good night's sleep. Lucy's in the shower, then we're both going to bed. So we will see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. Please subscribe if you're still watching. Please hit the like button if you're still watching as well. It really, really helps out the channel, helps us out. And we'll see you in the next one very, very soon. Good night.